hesitation. He never intended to sing this song. And he was very nervous, actually, uh, upon the release of this. It was a 45 is the way it came out, and it was intended to be played on jukeboxes. And um, it wasn't actually until the, the mid-60s that this song gained any notoriety, and, and um, eventually he found its way to being one of Hank's probably most well-known songs. Um, but the imagery, he was really afraid it was going to turn a lot of people off because he, he, he felt if his typical style was vanilla, this was tutti frutti. <laughs> so he wanted to put it on, on as the B-side anyway, and um, incredibly, I think it was actually 14 years after his passing, or maybe 13 years that, that this song really started to see the light of day. Once MGM had run out of a lot of his other stuff, they started re-releasing some of the older tracks. We're going to do it for you now. I think it's one of the most beautiful songs ever written. Thank you. 